Today, we're talking about full field reads in progression offenses. What are they? How do you run them? And how do you make it easier on your quarterback? It's coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Today I want to talk to you about full field reads. Now obviously offenses have gone through a series of progressions and changes and different presentations over the course of years, right? You adjust to defense, defense adjusts back, and we'll get into that with a video later on. But right now, Offenses are heavy into pure progression reading, and a lot of that is to simplify the offense for quarterbacks, especially young quarterbacks coming in. The air raid system, the spread offense, a lot of these, even a lot of the West Coast teams now run a pure progression read system for quarterbacks, and so I want to explain what that is to you. Before we get started, make sure if you haven't done it yet, if you love football content, if you love talking about the game, that you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, get notified every time that our new content comes out. Make sure you give us a like, smash that thumbs up button down below, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. We'll make some videos if you give us a good question. So let's talk about full field reads. What does that mean? Well, it sounds daunting as a quarterback, and I'm going to tell you a little story going back to my college years. I was playing in a slimmed down version of the West Coast system under Terry Shea and then under Steve Mariucci. And we ran West Coast concepts. What that meant was for a quarterback, it was all about defensive key reads, understanding what you're seeing in terms of coverage. Is it cover three? Is it cover one? Is it cover two? And then knowing within that route concept who my key read was, which player I was reading to take me to my first decision. When Steve Mariucci took over as offensive coordinator, Dan Cazetto also took over as our offensive line coach. And I love Danny, fantastic coach, brought a ton of attitude to the team and had some experience in Dennis Erickson's spread system where they did a lot of this full field reading and progressions. But I had been trained in defensive key reads as part of that West Coast system. And so as a result, it was hard for me to wrap my head around a full field read. How could I read and tell you what's going on on the back side if I'm reading front side to start? I couldn't get my head around a pure progression. And so Coach Cazetto installed a full field read for me as a quarterback. It had worked great with him at Idaho with John Freeze. Uh, with Dennis Erickson. They've been really successful with it. But as a young quarterback, without the experience of having been in a system where we did pure progression reads, I was trying to wrap my mind around, well, who do I key on here? And how do I know that I've got this guy on the backside if I can't look at this guy early? And so it was a great play. It was a vertical play. Um, had our slot receiver running down the center of the field coming open, but I just kept getting lost coming from progression one into two because I was trying to find the defender rather than just playing street ball and finding if that middle read was open. And so it was hard for me then to wrap my mind around it now. I laugh when I look back at it today because it's really a way simpler system than I was trying to make it to be. I was overthinking it. But it's an example of how quarterbacks can kind of get locked into a single concept. I think as a quarterback coach and as a quarterback – that being able to do all of the above, understanding all of the above, and using the best of all the different systems out there to simplify your offense and to simplify your reads for your quarterback is the best way to go. Now, teams have gotten into pure progressions. And the reason for that is there has been a ton of changes in college football and defenses disguise more. I'm also doing an upcoming video about that, what DBs have to do as opposed to quarterbacks. But the reason for progression reads is because defenses are changing, shifting, rotating, giving different looks, sometimes it's hard to tell pre-snap what exact coverage you're in. And then if you're trying to read post-snap, you're chasing eyes around everywhere and you can get lost in trying to get your defensive key read. So making it a pure progression system makes it easier on the quarterback just to go, I throw here first, I throw here second, I throw here third, I throw there fourth period. That's done. So just like I didn't know what I didn't know back then, oftentimes young quarterbacks don't understand. Not only do you have to know the reads, but you have to be able to deliver the ball on time, accurately, consistently, with velocity if you want to be successful. To help you do just that and to help you improve your passing mechanics, I've created a course for quarterbacks to talk about perfecting your passing mechanics. It's called Quarterback Secrets. I'll put a link right up here. I will put a link down below in the comment section as well so you can get it there. 
and click on that link. You get a free video teaching you how to perfect your grip right now. And then you can learn how to deliver the ball accurately and efficiently every time you throw. Now let's talk about those full field reads. Well, I'm gonna draw it up on paper. I'm gonna show you how to put together a proper full field read. And then I'm going to talk about some of the pluses, some of the minuses, and how to make it easier on your quarterback. Let's hit the paper. So first, let's talk about a defensive key read, how you would read this uh, if you were key reading as a quarterback. Let's say they're running cover two. So you have a corner flat, a safety high, another safety over here, and a corner down low here. In a defensive key read, you can see this play is called divide. And the divide concept is to put two on one versus that safety high. And so if we're thinking about attacking vertically, our defensive key read in this case would be this safety. If he takes that middle of the field runner and honors that or stays inside, then I'm thinking about throwing the corner. If he stays on his hash or comes off to honor that corner, gets influenced there, then I'm thinking about throwing that middle field read, right? Middle field open, cover two. If that safety doesn't honor the inside, I'm going to try to pound that ball down the center of the field and get some vertical yardage. Now, the, the thing about defensive key reads, just like the name says, in a defensive key read, you are reading the defensive player, in this case, the safety. If the safety honors here and the corner drops back, now I'm throwing that underneath route. So it's hard for me as I'm trying to read defense to go from one side of the field to the other in a defensive key read scenario because I'm waiting on what the defense does to dictate to me to where I go with that football. Now, let's teach this as a full field progression for a quarterback. As a quarterback, if I'm going to make this a full field progression, I'm going to read one to two to three to four and to five. Now remember, in a defensive key read, you have to understand as a quarterback what coverage they are playing. In this case, you don't have to understand coverage. You have to know if it's blitz or if you're going to get pressure and how to protect yourself, but you have to do that anyway in a defensive key read. If I'm reading this as a pure progression, what I have to understand as a quarterback is that I cannot fall in love with any single receiver. So I need to make my reads on timing the way the route is designed. So as a quarterback, I would take the ball. You can see here, three-step drop, right? Shotgun, three-step drop. And on my drop, I'm reading if this is open. If this guy is not open, if I don't feel the space in here to throw this ball, then on my hitch, I am coming to the corner route. If that corner route is not there, then on my next hitch, I am coming inside to my middle read, my vertical seam. And if I was making this a true full field read, I would give him the option of sitting it down versus cover three. That way he wins no matter what. That said, so that's on my second hitch. Now I come down, I don't love that. And I can come back to my big bench, which should time out just in time for me to come off to it, to throw it to the backside. And if I don't love it, my check down is right in my vision. What does that do for me as a quarterback that keeps my eye flow on a natural arc where I come through? And for me as a progression, I just get my eyes on the space, read the space, and then flow through. Now that said, this could all be done in your drop. You can say, do I love this? pre-snap is there a backer a uh, safety or a nickel player or a backer underneath that he's going to run into if he does do we have an adjustment on it so you can make all those reads if not does the safety come over the top and take away that space right so it could be one hitch to your middle read but the timing of it doesn't matter as long as we are not falling in love with a single concept i have to time it out that this is a hit and throw this is on hitch number one. This is on hitch number two. This is on number three. And this is my check down right off the back of it. And that way you're getting rid of that ball in 2.7 seconds. You've gone through your drop. You've gone through your read. 
and you've made it easy on yourself as a quarterback to make that full field read. As you can see, the rest of these are all just variations of that same play. I like it with the dig on the backside as well because now your natural eye progression as a quarterback goes here, right inside, right back down low. So you're just making a loop, and your look off is built into your eye progression. If I'm looking to the right, the safety on the backside is going to get depth expecting stuff to come to him. Or a free safety is going to get depth, and you have that middle field read as well. And so your lookoff's built into it. Linebackers are progressing this way with your eye movement. And when you come backside, there should be a lane back there for that dig. So full field read, that makes it super simple. Before we get to our next play, if you haven't done it yet, make sure that you subscribe, ring that bell, give us a thumbs up, smash that like button down below, and leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. And don't forget, quarterback secrets, passing mechanics, if you want to improve your play as a quarterback, you want to be able to throw the football every time, efficiently, accurately, with velocity, the link is in the comment section down below. Now let's talk about our next play, reading left to right. Now here's another version of a full field read for a quarterback. Let's talk first about how we would make this a defensive key read. So if you're coming out as a coach and you're teaching a defensive key read, I want to throw the bang eight or the skinny post, this route right here, versus cover three or off man. And so as a coach, I'm teaching your defensive key read is the flat defender. Could be a nickel, could be a outside linebacker, could be a strong safety. In this case, it would probably be a weak outside linebacker or a nickel will because tight end is to the right. So as a coach, if I'm teaching a quarterback to do this as a defensive key read, I'm going to initially look for leverage on the corner. If he's outside, then I'm thinking, I want to throw that bang eight. My defensive key read is that flat defender to the bang eight side. So as a result, I'm going to read him on the snap. If he attacks the flat, I throw the bang eight. If he gets depth into my window on the bang eight, which, by the way, is tough for a flat defender to do, then I've got the flat. If neither one of those are there, then I can come inside because that flat defender took that away. I should have a seam behind the linebackers inside with that crossing route. And finally, if that's taken away because the backers got there, I should have the option of the check down to my back. And so that's how you read it if you're giving a defensive key read. You have to start with what is the defense doing? Is the corner outside pre-snap? Does that give me the look I want? And if he is, now what is this guy doing at the snap of the ball? I have to understand coverage. It's cover three or it's cover one, and that gives me the opportunity. Now, if I am teaching this as a pure progression full field read, the way I'm going to read it is for my quarterback, I'm going to read one right now on that shoot route. Do I have that shoot route right now? Do I see space over here for him to get the ball? If I do, he's getting it. Two right here, and this is off the same exact read. You don't have to hitch because the bang eight, you don't want to throw without a hitch anyway. So one down low, it's either there or it's not. I'll know that in my first or second step. Number two on the bang eight, I can still hit and throw that ball. If I need to, I can hitch. Number three comes right inside to my over or climb route. Number four then replaces that with this route coming into my vision on the back side. As a quarterback, you like to have routes coming into your vision. Giving that dig brings that route into your vision. It's a nice compliment to this route. And then number five brings me right down over the ball. I can just check down with my eyes. So my eye flow on this play, if I'm doing this as a full field read progression, goes just like this. And it keeps it smooth. I don't have to bounce around from player to player based on what the defense is doing. And so making this full field read a progression through makes it easier on your quarterback just as long as he knows that he's reading left to right on this play or right to left on the last play or however you want to organize it high to low low to high but going through that progression makes it easier for your quarterback to see it and rather than having to focus on what is the defense doing having to understand exactly what the coverage is you can get away with not fully understanding coverage but knowing that i'm looking for space within that coverage to throw the ball. So your takeaway from this video should be that full field reads are not only possible, they're actually really 
successful and they can get you big chunks. They can be shot plays and they can make the game easier on your quarterback and spread the defense. I mean, if you can get that picture with the five dice look and you can spread that defense out, there's no way they can cover everything. As long as your quarterback doesn't fall in love with the route and as long as you're giving him the right reads where it makes it a simple eye progression, then you are in good shape as a coach. And as a quarterback, understand that if you have a full field read on, whether you're reading you know, left to right, right to left, high to low, whatever you're doing, if you have a full field read on, you have to go through your progression at the speed it's intended. If it's built properly, it's going to take that natural eye progression with you and give that natural look off built into the system. That's the way they should be designed. So practice full field progression reads, moving your feet in the pocket. It's only an angle shift for you. But understanding that keeping your eyes where they're supposed to be at the time they're supposed to be there is going to help you with the look off and you don't have to think about all that extra stuff for yourself. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget, subscribe, hit that bell. Make sure that you smash the like button down below and leave me a comment because I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer them here on the channel. That's all about full field reads, progression reads, and making the game simpler on your quarterback to execute from the pocket.